Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, hot dogs? Welcome to this beautiful Tuesday morning. Since Ricky likes to skip class, we have Allie as our new host for the day. It's time for weather with Mo. Hello, all. Today's going to be rather monotonous with on and off storms throughout the day, although it just sounded like some artillery was outside, culminating in a cacophony of potentially severe storms and high winds. On the temperature front, no pun intended, we'll rise from our current 44 to our high of 63, then fall back to 29 overnight. We'll potentially have a wintry mix overnight as the temperatures drop below zero. Well, not zero, that would be ridiculous, freezing, with snow tomorrow morning. Anyway, back to studio. Thanks, Mo. Early summer school was Monday, but it's not too late to attend. Summer school runs through 6, 3 to 6 p.m. through Friday, Monday through Friday. Transportation is provided. If you received a letter or are lacking a credit, then get started today. See administration or your counselor with any questions. The fifth annual Strides for Stacy has been scheduled for Saturday, May 19th at 9 a.m. This year's event will be a color run. NHSers will shower participants with non-toxic colored powder at stations throughout the 5K. By the end of the event, participants' shirts will be vibrant and fun, just like Stacy was. As always, the profits will be donated to the Stacy Ball Legacy Scholarship Fund to continue to provide advanced education opportunities for FHS students. If you'd like to do a change of course request, see your counselor. HDTV is looking for students for morning announcements and the production class. It's now time to sports with Riley. Thanks, Izzy. Attention all cheerleaders who were selected for the 2018-19 school year. There's a mandatory parent cheerleader meeting on Wednesday, April 4th at 6 p.m. in the auxiliary gym. All track athletes, the bus to the Clinton Prairie meet leaves at 4.20 today. Though there wasn't a baseball game yesterday, yesterday there will be a JV boys baseball game today at Clinton Prairie. Congrats to Mr. Dudley's community for winning this year's Community Bracket Challenge. Now, back to the studio. Mr. Payne's community is to head to Ms. Mrs. Fortner's room, room 137. That's all for today's morning announcements. Ask Alice is going to be posted later today. Please be sure, to, be sure to check it out. It's one of our best segments yet. We'll be sending you off with a video of Matt Snell speaking to the teachers of FHS about his experience at Frankfurt High School and the opportunities being here has, give, has given him. First of all, I'm just going to say that uh, my plans after high school is going to nursing. And uh, I got a couple of scholarships this year, one from Indiana State, and I'm my youth coach now. And uh, so I'm not, I'm not really sure yet, still trying to make a decision, but uh, that's kind of my future plans as of right now. Uh, one of my favorite things I want to share about high school is just having PS in Mr. Porter's class. Where does Mr. Porter have? Not here today. Not here today. All right, well, you know, we had, we had a lot of good times with Mr. Porter's class, having PSs and stuff. But, uh, you know, coming up here, I just wanted to go ahead and thank everybody for, you know, really preparing me for college and these scholarship interviews stuff, you know, with Mr. Cantlin and uh, Mr. Hines and other administrators, you know, going through the, like, a, a true scholarship interview process, that was pretty nice. And, uh, you know, taking speech class with Mr. Snoddy, even though he's not here today, that was uh, another great time and stuff. So, I, I guess I just thank everybody for all the opportunities I've had coming from Clinton Central to here. Um, had a lot of opportunities and a lot of great times, so thank you everybody.